Amy Sterling and I've been working with Radiate Arts at Chouette Reservoir this summer doing printmaking workshops and what I'm going to do today is teach you a few methods for making very simple little booklets. I'll show you first the most basic little booklet that we can make. So I have some A4 paper which we will fold in half and just make sure that the corners meet each corner and then go from the middle and go out to the edge. And one of the things I have is this bamboo, it's called a folder for bookmaking and it makes your edges really nice. But if you don't have one, you can just use a pencil and you can do that. You fold it halfway the other way. Start at the center and go out. So you're going to fold it in half from the outside to the center. So then you can see I have a piece of A4 folded into eight sections. The only thing you have to do then is fold it in half again this way. And this line here, the fold that you made that's on the folded edge, just cut that up to the next fold, which is there. And it has that cut in the center. To make the book, you just fold it in half that way. Push this open like this. And then refold. very simple little book or zine as we call it. Because it's an A4, you can actually copy things onto the sheet and then fold it like this. And you can make many, many copies. Put some text, maybe you want to put some collage, like I've done with this one. So I've put some text and I've glued some different pictures and some text. And then what you can do is just unfold it. So that's my A4 put it on a photocopier and just make lots of copies and then refold and cut so then you have lots of copies. That is the most basic little book. The next kind of book I wanted to show you how to make is a accordion book. But the first thing I was going to do is just a bigger A3 piece of paper. Um, so I'm just going to fold it so I have a nice straight line and then just use scissors. Fold it in half. And then instead of just folding it in half again, I'm gonna fold it in three because then it makes a nice accordion. Measure, I have 21. So amazingly, that works out to seven and three. So then I'm going to fold it into the first mark. Instead of folding again, because you have this piece of paper, I'm going to fold it this way because you want the folds to not be too thick because you have an extra little piece of paper there, so this way. Into that center. So now you have this, which is folded kind of randomly, it's not quite important. So what you need to do is kind of refold. You have this bit. You want to refold this back like that. And just fold it both ways. So then you have a proper accordion book. I'm going to make a little cover for it. So I have a piece of cardboard here, which is a kind of thick piece of card, but you could use just the back of cardboard from the back of a sketchbook or from a pad of paper. The next thing we want to do for our cover is make this a little bit bigger than your actual paper. And uh, it's not too bad on this cardboard. So I'm just going to lay this piece over the top. What we're going to do is cover it with another kind of paper. And so this is the exciting bit. You get these two covers, which our accordion book will go into. 
but we want to make it more interesting. What I like using is there's this mulberry paper, which is just very fine, handmade paper. Let's use this red. So that's just about enough to make two. You need it to be about a centimeter all the way around. So I'm going to glue this onto the paper. So I'm just going to use some glue stick, but you can use some PVA if you want. And I'm just going to cover this and put it down in the middle and just press it really hard down so the glue really gets to all the edges. Now to make the corners work when you cover it, we're going to cut just kind of a 45 degree corner off this. You can get quite close like this. So you do that with all the corners. So we have two pieces. And now look like this. Let's just put the glue stick on each edge. Bend it over. Make sure it's kind of pushed all the way. Pull it to the edge and then use your pencil to really push it down. Just so it's I did with the school so it was just like a little diary of everything we did all day. Uh, another way you can use an accordion book is I cut the edge a bit different. It's like this and I tore all the pages so it looks like mountains. Even tiny tiny books which is this is just a piece of map and uh, some text from a dictionary. It can be a really creative way to make something very simple very quickly you can also use your own work in it, or you can use it for so many different things. So I hope 